Hello and welcome back to the TVBinges.com Pilot Roundtable, a Southgate Media Group podcast. I'm Kyle Tremblay, the editor of TVBinges.com, and I am joined as always by a fellow TV Binges writer. She's engaging in the most dangerous game, gambling on crime. It's Olivia Richards. Hello. Oh, I thought you were going to say watching this show. <laughs> oh, would have been better. Gonna, re- gonna rewrite your intro. <laughs> um, <laughs> so today, if you haven't guessed already, and why would you? You probably didn't watch this show. Um, we're talking about... Wesley Snipes' dramatic small screen debut, it's The Player. Olivia, what did you think of this pilot? You know, it's just the weird thing. I didn't realize that uh, Donald Trump came out with another reality show. So it's just, (laughs) I'm just assuming that this is what he does in his free time. (laughs) So I'm glad that they're making a show about it. So that's good. I felt like this was like The Purge (laughs) plus it being worse minus the heart and soul. (laughs) I like I like plus it being worse as a as a component of this formula. Plus badness. Plus it was awful. I I wanted to like the player so badly under what I will call the limitless exception, which is when a show is when a show thinks it's smarter than you but is actually considerably dumber than you. Yep. And I I you have no idea, Olivia, how much I wanted to come on this podcast and tell you how much I loved the player. Because I know it would have shocked you and it would have been so much fun. Oh, well, but, I saw your tweet because you were like really excited about Wesley Snipes where you were like, it just looks like he's having a lot of fun. And it did look like he was a lot of, having a lot of fun. It yes. was just a really bad show. Yes, I tweeted, Wesley Snipes looks like he's having fun. The unspoken second part of that tweet is, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> because, oh man, it's just not good. Oh, like, yeah. Ah, uh, it just isn't good. It's it's it just isn't. And and yeah, I mean, the point you bring up about how we're kind of sort of rooting for people who are ultra rich and betting on crimes for sport that result in the deaths of innocents. Uh, even if you get past that, it's just not good. Um, and that I don't know. Yeah, there there was something here about the premise that I that I kind of like liked in a perverse kind of way. That like at least it's at least it's not like another crime tech lab or something. That's true. You know, we're getting into like a it's a crime procedural, obviously, but we have this whole a whole like setup, the whole premise that is way out there. Like it's it's like Wesley Snipes calls himself uh, the pit boss, which by the way, for a show to have Wesley Snipes calling himself the pit boss and me not to like it tells you how bad it is. <laughs> Because <laughs> this should have been right up my alley. But no, he, you would have been totally sold in like four seconds. Oh, I was, I was Olivia. I was, I was so in at the start of this pilot. I'm like Snipes, Pit Boss, gambling on people's lives. Let's do it. And then it lost me. Um, but it does so little with that premise. Like so, so much about this pilot was just like a straightforward, like bland action crime procedural. Like, it, like I, I feel like what this pilot needed to hang its hat on. Um, is being, like, a real, like, kick-ass action show. And it just wasn't. Like, the action in this, I don't know. What did you think of the action? Because I didn't find it that impressive. I really didn't, because I feel like it was, like, any, you know, generic, like, Michael Bay sort of thing where it was, like, things blow up, and look, there's a car, and, hey, look, motivation for people to do things. My biggest thing with this pilot and the show in general is I don't like how it falls on like the problematic kind of trope of like oh okay so a man has you know a a wife and a child both female obviously Mm. and then of course you know the wife ends up dying or so we think and then you know the daughter of somebody on the show gets kidnapped and that's his motivation so now we follow him around and it's basically just another you know generic device to have you know this this man's story launched forward and I I really wish that that would stop being the biggest motivating factor or the biggest playing factor and a lot of these sort of like thriller action horror shows sort of happening over and over again yes a hundred percent agree and I think that that speaks to what my underlying problem is here which is this pilot took about half of its screen time to establish its premise, which is that Wesley Snipes is the pit boss. He runs a gambling service for ultra rich people um, with the help of the dealer, this um, sort of severe English woman, but with kind of a twinkle in her eye who, um, who recruits 
the main character to be, quote-unquote, the player, the titular player, um, who is basically someone who attempts to stop crime as the rich people bet on whether or not he will succeed. It's like, okay, if if you're going to have that as your premise, the show needs to be the purge. It needs to be something that is so committed to that premise that that's what it is. And it just isn't. It really is just a dumb crime show. You know, and that, that motivation, like, wouldn't it be more interesting if the character didn't lose his wife and have that motivation? Wouldn't it be more fun if he was just into it? Like, if he, yeah. was, if he was just going for it and he was kind of a morally gray character and he, he embraced this world of gambling, like, does he have to be the conflicted hero whose wife has died and he needs to get revenge and figure out what happened? Like, do we need that in 2015? Because, you know, if, if this is a show that's going to be about gambling on people's lives, then the show itself shouldn't pre- pretend to have a moral code, right? Like, that that's what this is. This is the player hedging its bets and being like, oh, I'm worried we'll make the everyone too dislikable, so we need to make the main character sympathetic. No, I say, don't do that. Make the main character a jerk. M- make, make all of this a big game and make that be the commentary you, you have on society and on, and on like the ultra-rich. Me. That's like, that's what I'm thinking, because in the same note, he's going to be doing horrible things to get revenge, and it makes it so that we root for him, and he's, like, the good guy, but then he's killing, you know, countless other people who, like, we don't know their stories. Like, I feel like we get so desensitized to these kinds of things, because, like, you know, you have, like, a security officer, usually it's, like, a policeman or woman who gets murdered, and it's like, oh, okay, it's fine, because they were in the way, and he's, like, on a mission of revenge, and, like, his wife, and he's, he's such a good heart. I'm like, but he really doesn't like you know it's you know you can be a bad person and do good things or you could be a good person and still do bad things and I just see this as like them trying to make it so like oh you're the good guy and you're just gonna have to do some bad things to get there but yeah like at least in the purge it's like a literally a movie about legalizing crime you (laughs) can just do whatever you wanted for one night and like nobody you know cared at all and it was like nobody was like trying to root you on. They're just like, hey, just for one night, you just get to be whatever monster you want to be, and we're just gonna like let you do that. And then you know, tomorrow you need to like clean up your act, and like we're <laughs> gonna have a civilized society again. Right. It, what the what the purge does, and the purge, by the way, isn't a great movie, but um, no, it's not. <laughs> what it, what it does is it commits to its premise, and it creates a world based on that premise. What the player is trying to do is have its cake and eat it too. It's trying to create this world where. I mean, not not. I mean, the show ostensibly exists in modern society, but it's trying to create create a sort of slice of the world where the ultra rich do. I mean, are, are participating in this horrible thing, which is gambling on people's lives and gambling on crime and, and paying someone to be this this player character who tries to stop crime instead of stopping the crime themselves that they are clearly aware of. Like th- that, they're creating a slice of the world that is morally bankrupt, and yet. Our character, who is our introduction to this world, is supposed to be a sort of bastion of morals. You know, he's supposed to be this guy who has been dragged into the world and who, only because his wife was murdered, now needs to infiltrate this world so that he can have the means to stop it. And that that is so lame. It's so it's so and and because it ends up being just a normal crime procedural. You know, it just ends up. This episode was really. If you took away all of that premise, it would have been the same episode. It would have just been, he's a cop and he's trying to take down the bad guys. There's some action and blah, blah, blah. Like, the, 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 the level that this premise contributed to this episode was basically nothing. It just took up screen time and it sort of established the world. But, man, a version of this show where everyone was having a good time with it. And, and we really got into the gambling and we really got into the ethics of rooting of people who bet against him to succeed. And so who are therefore rooting for like drug traffickers and, and like, you know, uh, slave masters and what like the worst of the world. Like that's an interesting world that I wouldn't mind being in. But the, but this show appears uninterested in that part of it. It just wants to have a, a sort of launching point into the action. And that's what that's I think was my ultimate criticism of it. No, exactly. I just, I felt like everything that kind of propelled the characters into this world was just like lazy and sort of thoughtless and and very based on things, again, that we've seen before and that are very, very like problematic themes that for some reason we keep recycling over and over and over and have really essentially become like a staple of like the action thriller genre. 
where again, it's like, you know, the guy who, you know, his wife or girlfriend gets murdered and then it sends him on his path to like, you know, you know, avenging her or whatever, or trying to, you know, reclaim what's his. And it just, it's, it's boring and it's, it's not fun to watch, you know, regardless of how many car chases or things that are blowing up or new fancy technology. Right. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I agree. This show just didn't, it didn't go far enough or it went too far. Like it, like it ended up in this weird no man's land where it, it wasn't a high concept premise um, or it didn't follow through on it, but it also had, it had enough of it to where it, it, I expected it to be a little more interesting and it just, it just ended up being kind of a nothing hour of television. So uh, apparently America thought so too, because this pilot did a 1.2 demo rating with a paltry 4.9 million viewers overall making it one of the lowest rated pilots of the week. Um, so Olivia, do you think the player will be canceled quickly, uh, making it through its first season or renewed for a second season? I'm thinking cancel quickly. Like I can't really see this going anywhere and I can't really picture many people like continuing through with it. Yeah. I think a, a couple seasons ago, there was a show called lucky seven about the perils of lottery winners. Um, that also was similarly, um, kind of stuck between trying to be, say something interesting and just trying to be a dumb show and ended up in No Man's Land. I think that this is going to go the same way as that. Um, that got canceled after two weeks, I think. I think this is going to make it a little more than two weeks, but maybe four or five is what I would put it at before the NBC pulls the plug on this one. Um, all right, final verdict. Olivia, thumbs up or thumbs down on The Player? It's a thumbs down for me. It's it's not for me, or I don't think it should really be for anybody. <laughs> I was going to say, the, the question of who this is for is the real mystery here. Um, I if it's Because if it's not for me, someone who is really inclined <laughs> to like this stuff, then it is definitely not for anyone. Uh, I'm sorry to say. Uh, so thumbs down for me as well. Um, so you've been listening to the Pilot Roundtable, a TVVengeance.com and Southgate Media Group production. You can listen to all of our episodes on iTunes, where you can rate review us. We'd appreciate that. Or find us at SouthgateMediaGroup.com. Follow Olivia on Twitter at RichardsOlivia and me on Twitter at KyleLovesTV. Until next time, 